Ignatius, will the oven be fixed soon? Oh, Madame the Director. You're exactly on time. It's ready. Exactly as I predicted. One last touch and we're good. <coughs> Ignatius, you're not expected to repair things yourself. We can hire someone. <laughs> oh, but I've almost finished. I'll do that dripping tap next, the broken gutter, and... Hmm? Oh, if only we had enough money to renovate the camp. Oh, it's falling apart. <laughs> Do you think he sensed the flu, Baloo? For sure. Squeak Super Flare strikes again. Huh? What's this? Uh, uh yuck! Oh, it's flu -paloo poop. No, Squeak wouldn't want to eat it if it were. Come on now, let's go show it to the others. <laughs> yeah! What oh. the heck is that? Some kind of mushroom, maybe? A mushroom? <gasps> Let the experts see. Oh, 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 my, oh, my, oh, my, it's incredible. Where did you find this? In the forest. It was Squeak. Oh, 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 what on earth is it, Ignatius? It just happens. I have the solution to all our money problems. That? Well, what is it? A truffle? The truffle is a rare mushroom of high financial value. It is also known as the mushroom of My cakes. little ones, the workshop salt dough jewelry is canceled. Aww. But instead, we have a different game for you. A truffle hunt. Oh, quick, there's another one over there. Oh. Another one! <laughs> oh, well done, Squeak! Pally! Keep looking! Ah, oh, that's it! Well done, children! Maybe the children would have preferred the salt dough workshop. Oh, nonsense! They're out in the fresh air and they're getting some exercise! Even so, it's getting kind of dark. Maybe we should stop? Very well. Children, let's stop here. Yay! Get some rest. We'll start tomorrow again at dawn. <laughs> 928 truffles. Oh, well done, well done, little one. You've earned a little reward. Who's this for? Who? It's for Squeaky Woo. That wasn't an activity. That was pure exploitation. <gasps> hmm? That's a surprise. Granny Teresa says the Flupaloo doesn't like truffles? Maybe the Mushroom of Kings is weird and the Flupaloo doesn't like them? Maybe he never even tried them. Hmm. Hey, are you listening or what? <laughs> Dear friends, I stand here immensely honored to present you. Lo and behold, your future summer camp. 300 air-conditioned cabins, two mini-golfs, three cinemas, 12 tennis courts, an Olympic swimming pool, five hectares of organic vegetable patches for Madame Director. Ooh. And for Annette, a little train that leads directly to the salt dough factory. Yes! <laughs> but what about the forest?
first. Mm -hmm. Oh, right. Yes, yes, yes. We'll leave one or two trees for the pony rides. Oh, yay! Ponies! But for all of that to happen, work has to begin straight away. All must participate in the hunt. <laughs> Come on, put your back into it, lazy bones. Hey, Malik. Can you help me carry this box over to Ignatius? Yeah, sure, it's cool. No one ever asks me to carry anything because I have this reputation of being clumsy. Ah! <laughs> the truffles are down! Everyone, don't move! It's okay, chill out. I'll pick them up. Hands off! Oh, oh, come here, my sweetness. Daddy's got you. Oh, it's all right. Everything's fine. We'll be okay. There you go. Don't worry. It's okay. Um... What are you going to do with that? It's a surprise for the float below. In the morning, salt dough pottery. In the afternoon, salt dough sculpting. In the evening, football with a salt dough ball. <sighs> The coast is clear. <laughs> truffle risotto, truffle souffle, truffle ravioli with liver sauce, truffle omelette. That looks easy. The flupaloo is going to love it so much he'll want all the truffles. <laughs> Our truffle omelette is delicious. Omelette! Mr. Flopaloo, you who we're here. <sighs> Our omelette is delicious and cold. <sighs> well, that's not surprising after four hours. Forget it. This time I'm sure the Flopaloo doesn't care about truffles. Six truffles less than yesterday. Hmm? Disappointing. Very disappointing. Ignatius, it's uh, about my oven. Oh, come now. Why waste time repairing an old oven when you'll soon have an even better ultra-modern kitchen? The demolition crew will be here in three days. Oh, no! We have to get the truffles back. Otherwise, it's bye-bye, Wild Valley. I have some expertise in heist moves, and hold-ups are a piece of cake. Here's the plan, darling, so take a seat. Matt, I'm already sitting. Matt, over there. Don't look good, baby. Ignatius has taken the door handle off. Chill, big boss. Take your glasses off. The door's on the other side. It looks like Ignatius has thought of everything. What are you what? doing here? Ignatius, um, we were just looking for you. Uh, yeah, uh, remind me what those two constellations are called between the pony and the big dipper. Uh, um, it's the, um, uh, 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 the big duck. And that's the, uh, it's the bigger, uh, um, Yes, we'll see better in daylight. Off to bed. No, 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 no. No truffles, no reward. Off to bed now, everyone. We've got a big day ahead of us. What now, huh? Hold up, King. <laughs> hmm? Well done, Squeak. Uh, exactly how I taught you. I told you so, Lisa. Huh? <gasps> no way! These were full of truffles earlier! Huh? The truffles are alive! They're not. Take a look. 
Uh, Lisa? Thank you for the omelette. I actually love truffles. It's the floopaloo! Oops, sorry. Okay, now we have to convince Ignatius to give up hunting truffles. Got a plan? Sure thin, baby. Truffles have disappeared. <laughs> Farewell, and goodbye, my super summer camp. Isn't it obvious that this hit could only be done by professional gangsters? Indeed. They must have been professional thieves, highly trained commando ninjas, a top secret unit. And I didn't even get to taste one. Hey, look, there's one left. Give it up. That one's for me! Ow! That's disgusting! <laughs> this rubbish isn't worth a dime! <laughs> the ninjas got it all wrong! <laughs> oh, please, get a grip, Ignatius! Absolutely. You're right. I've got an oven to fix. Nice one, rubbing the truffles with Brian's dirty socks. Way to go. <laughs> I didn't need to go that far. Brian's sock was already clean. <laughs> I don't get it. The oven works just fine. his track, Captain. Hey, we said I was the captain. Shh, not so loud. We're too close to give up now. <laughs> My radar doesn't lie. Our target is very close. Very close. Aha! Target in sight. Let's go! Ah! Huh? Yeah! Yeah! Hey, the target. For the big bath? Hey, 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 you can't do this to me! My dirtiness is my freedom! Whoa! Oh! Come on, Brian! Say goodbye to your filth! You've been polluting our nostrils long enough! Congratulations, soldiers! Mission uh, clean feet accomplished! Yuck! To Brian! Hip, hip, hip! Hoorah! Yeah! Do you know what time it is? Curfew in ten minutes. Come on, hop, hop, to bed with you. Aww. And so Captain Matt goes back to his room after a hard day of combat. <gasps> All right, time to go into standby mode, soldier. Message received and transmission. Does it smell weird to you in here? Kind of like a wet dog? Yeah, I guess you're right. It's very strange. Oh, it's probably some leftover smell from Brian. <laughs> huh? ah! Look! A monster! <sighs> hey, where are you going? Huh? Hey, what's the matter with you? Be careful where you put your behind. A talking otter? I'm not an otter. <laughs> I'm a koipu, and my name is Waldo. Uh, hi there, Waldo. Sorry about my cousin. He thought you were a monster ha! and... You're the monsters around here. Because of that filthy friend of yours, my nice pond is polluted. I'm homeless now, so I came to take refuge here. <laughs> what? Your pond polluted? I knew Brian was really dirty, but not that bad. We're responsible for what happened. We really should do something about it. <laughs> You're right. We'll take care of everything tomorrow. In the meantime, he'll have to find another pond for the night. Let 
me sleep here or I'll tell the floopaloo. He doesn't joke around with pollution, you know. All right, all right. It's fine. He can stay. Children, watch with all the noise. Faster! It's Ignatius! <gasps> ah, it's about time. Smells like wet dog around here. Mm. Uh, uh, it's Lisa. She washed her hair. Oh, good going, Lisa. Very well. Uh, lights out here, and I don't want to hear another sound. I yes, Ignatius! Uh, who was that? Our counselor. And talking animals, well, they aren't really his thing. It's true. I'm pretty good with foreign languages. <laughs> French. Bonjour. Spanish. Buenos dias. Rabbit. Frog. Oh, yeah? What language is that? That's my stomach. Ah, cookies. Got any raspberry-flavored ice cream? What else would you like? <laughs> I've got a cramp. Ouch. Oh, uh, I need some sugar. Quick. <laughs> Shh. Okay, we're going, and we're going to get you some ice cream. La, 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 la. Gentlemen's ice cream is served. Huh? Get up, lazy bones. I slept super well. Oh, you snore really well, too. Come on, why don't you show me around? Hey, you can't go out like that. Oh, wow, this place is great. Shh. You have to keep a low profile. Hey, cousins, <gasps> how about a game of prison ball? Ah, a new arrival. What is your name? Uh, this is Sven. He's our new Swedish pen pal. Hello, Sven. Hey, Soignus. Hey, my dear. Wow, that is so exotic. It is. <laughs> All right, I'm counting on you. I'll see you later. Uh, sure thing. You can start without us. Ball, 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 ball. Hey! No ball playing. The priority is to clean up your lake so you can go home. Don't worry. It'll be a piece of cake. Taking away a little dirt shouldn't be too... <gasps> tough a job. My little pond. That's Brian all over. <laughs> His socks are the same color. Hey there, Floopaloo! Sorry about this! It's our fault! We'll take care of everything! How are we going to do that? Filter the water with handkerchiefs? I think he's right. It's hopeless. Fine, let's go play with the others. Wait, I remember there's a water purifier at camp. We can clean up the pond in no time. That's great! Well, <laughs> just great. <laughs> oh, boy, now I have a headache. Is it all right if I go back to your place and lie down a bit? Okay, we'll borrow the water purifier while you're resting. Oh, I'm sure Ignatius won't mind. No. Oh, please! We absolutely have to have it, Ignatius! No need to whine. Beryl will never agree to it. Sure you can! Cleaning the lake is a great idea! What did I tell you? <gasps> that's the water purifier? But that's impossible. Yes, quite strange. Mm, I think it's sabotage. And I think I've just found a clue. Mm -hmm. This is awful. First, all of our powdered chocolate was stolen. Now the purifier has been sabotaged. <laughs> How's that? My chocolate? Oh, dear. I'm calling the police right away. Interesting. <gasps> Matt, I'd like to check on something. Yuck. Wanna taste? <laughs> hey, that's not dirt, that's chocolate. Did you see that? The singer of the top five plucks her head just for yet! <laughs> oh, I got you. Prisoner, yeah, prisoner, yeah. That guy is totally crazy. You both are cheaters. No, Sven. For the last time, you're out of bounds and they're not even playing with us. That's great. That means I get a bonus. Totally cool. 
Mm. We're just borrowing him. See you later. Uh, yes! <laughs> I win the game. So, Waldo, how's that headache of yours? Ah, uh, uh, much better. Thank you. Oh, by the way, there's bad news. The water purifier is broken and it'll take months to fix it. Oh, no. I'm going to have to leave my pond and stay here forever. What a shame. Don't worry about it. We've mm -hmm. found something else to clean up the pond. Some anti pollux. It's a super powerful plant that the Flupalu grows. You just put some in the water and goodbye pollution. Thank you. Whatever you do, don't lose it. We picked everything that was left in the forest. That's great. I'll try it right away. No way I'm cleaning up my pond now. The camp's too comfortable. Bye-bye, Antipolux. <laughs> I'm so smart. Hey! Ooh. So, Waldo, you're feeding the ants? I hope they like herbal tea. They stole it from me. Bad girls. Don't bother. We know everything. You polluted your own pond with a powdered chocolate, and you sabotaged the purifier. But... I... You can't prove anything. Squeak? A perfect fit. You broke a tooth while gnawing on the pipes. You've been caught like the rat you are. <laughs> it's true. I confess. I invented this whole thing about my polluted pond because I wanted to live with you. <laughs> Live with us? But come on, Waldo. You're a koi poo. Why do you want to live with humans? Don't you have any friends in the forest? No. What animal would want to be friends with a koi poo who doesn't know how to swim? That's right, it's true. I was born with a twisted tail. In spite of all my swimming lessons, I was always a failure. I was so ashamed. I stayed on the edge of the pond so that the others wouldn't make fun of me. I'm useless. I'm a big zero. That's nice of you, Squeak, but nobody cares about a koi poo who can speak human. Waldo, I think you have a gift that can help everyone who lives in the valley. Really? And now, repeat after me. It's a mushroom. That's fine. Let's hear it for the bear. Come on, everyone together now. All right, you can go. But think about going party before class next time. Now, where was I? Oh, yes. Everyone, a mushroom. <laughs> You were right, Lisa. Thanks to Waldo, we'll find ourselves amongst all sorts of bilinguals pretty soon. Yeah. But I think it's gonna take a while. to help me get rid of the snails. They're eating all my salad, the little rascals. Ah, there's one. Luckily, I've got a natural repellent to protect my vegetables. Ground coffee is unbeatable. Oh, naughty little guy. I'm taking you straight to the forest. Why, thank you, Malik. Lattice protection comes first. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the racetrack where we've got the Clash of the Champs! Yay! In lanes number one and two, Mary Angel and Angel Mary, the Twin Arrows. In lane number three, Pythagoras. In lane number four, the defending champion, Caligulator the Gladiator. I must remind everyone
everybody that tonight's desserts are on the line. Ready? Get set. And go! Go, go, go! up with Caligulator! Go, Super Torpedo! Desserts. <laughs> Malik, you can have more broccoli if you're still hungry. <laughs> you okay, Malik? Disappointed? Huh. I always lose. I'm used to it. Huh? Mind if I use the computer? Sorry, but that is not going to be possible. I've just started making copies of the last 20 years of accounting for the camp. Come back in another hour when I'm finished. Oh. Let's see now. Uh, J uppercase J uppercase Ah J. Next letter. With my luck, there's no way I'm going to find a new champion. Huh? Hey, you! You got style, dude! I'm gonna call you Tornado. And in lane number five, Tornado! Ready? Go! <laughs> it looks like Tornado is off to a bad start. Go, Tornado, go! Ladies and gentlemen, I think that we've got a winner. Tornado, please, come on. And it's not a surprise that the winner is... Tornado? seen a snail like that in my life. What did you paint on this shell? Uh, nothing. Tornado needs to rest now. Eat. You certainly deserve it. <sighs> I'm not used to winning. Wow, what a rush. <laughs> Bring on the winnings. Thank you, girls. I think there's one missing. Hey, if you're so hungry, I think there's still some Brussels sprouts. Oh. Strange. Ignatius? Aren't you having dinner? Later. I'm not finished. Enjoy it for now. It's not gonna last. I challenge you to a rematch. Meet me this evening at the racetrack. We're gonna have a night race. Get up, Tornado. I gotta get ready for another race. At night this time. But, hey, you didn't need anything. Come on, you gotta enjoy yourself, dude. <laughs> no! Not five! I wanted to type six! How do you delete? Ah, ah, there we go. <laughs> Delete. Mm. <gasps> oh. No! I bet eight to one on Caligulator. 
I mean, I knew he'd come in second. I had a feeling first place would go to Tornado. Wait, who's responsible for what happened to my issue of Top Girl? 800 pages of math exercises I hadn't even done yet, reduced to shreds. Who would have done such a cruel thing? Brian! Hey, yo, stop accusing me. I haven't budged in the last half hour. There are some strange things going on around here. You can say that again. Malik winning a race is totally paranormal. Hey, who's the Joker who stole the toilet paper? Well, where's my notebook? I mean, what in the world is this stuff? It looks like... Some kind of slime. <gasps> Tornado. Tornado! What are you doing here? Hey, he's eating my notebook. <laughs> Have you put on some extra weight? What the? Is it you who ate the girls' magazines? Wait a sec! Quick, to Malik's cabin! Hey, guys! Don't leave me stranded like this! Where's Tornado? Shh! You're going to wake him up! He has to rest for the race. Huh? What? Where'd he go? Hmm. This is unbelievable. He ate through the cardboard and my notebook and everything else. Well, why would he do that? Hmm? <gasps> Look, on the can! Oh, no! Your tornado is the Flutbaloo's recycler! He eats old magazines and packaging, all the paper trash that hikers leave in the forest! Did you say paper? But there's tons of paper in the camp! We gotta find it before he eats everything! Something. Oh gosh, we've got to find some way to stop him. Tornado, we do not eat barrels cookbooks. Or if you do, then just the ones with broccoli recipes. Tornado! Look at this lovely old notebook that needs to be recycled! Are you crazy? Not the Book of Secrets! Sorry, Tornado. You're just too much for us to keep. I'm gonna miss you. By the time the coffee disappears from the wind and rain, Tornado will be back to his normal size. And then he'll be able to go back to recycling. But be careful now. You've got to go on a diet. Practice portion control, got it? Now all we have to do is look after the kitchen and Ignatius. Uh, what, what, what's going on? Ignatius? <laughs> the big snail! He ate all of my paperwork! <laughs> You had a nightmare. You've been working too hard. Why, you even fell asleep on your computer. But luckily, we were hard at work while you were sleeping. But here, I backed up all of your accounting on a USB flash drive. And we decided to recycle all of your boxes. 
Oh, you are such sweethearts, children. Thank you. And what if he finds out the flash drive is empty? Well, first I'll have to figure out how it works. A USB flash drive? Of course, I already have lots of them. Why, I'll just put it on here with all my other keys. 